one of the most successful softwares that uh, marketers use online has reinforced a lesson I had to learn real hard. And that's a lesson I'm going to share with you on this session. My name is Jeff Ronning and this is an El Jefe session. You know, when I was a young kid I used to do magic, um, not just for fun, but also I got paid for it. And as I look around this boat, I see lots of things that are very magical. In fact, they look remarkable. Nothing's out of place. I remember as a young kid, I entered a magic competition. Yes, they really do have a magic competitions. They get magicians together, they fly in from around the world, and they compete to see whose magic is better. I remember one year, I won a Hades stage magic convention. Now there's two types of magic. There's stage where you perform before an audience, you're up on a stage, and there's a close-up where you're seated next to them. Now the next year I thought how cool would it be to be the first person to ever win back-to-back -back competitions in two different types of magic. So I started to work on some close-up magic and I created this magic that was incredible. I mean it was really awesome. Um, it was a transposition effect, that means one thing moves from another. Uh, one, one location, something moves to another location. And so what we did is we borrowed some rings, and I, that's okay, you can come on through. Oh, that's okay. So, um, what I created was a transposition effect. Uh, what I did, what that means is one thing moves to another location. What I did is I borrowed this woman's ring, I did all this magic with it, and then it vanished and reappeared in a purse that I had previously given her. Now I showed this to my mentor who was named Harvey Long in Seattle, and uh, he told me, no, 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 Jeff, you've mucked this all up. You've made it way too complex. He said, you, you're using sleight of hand, you're using like gaffed things, you're using uh, all these other sorts, I, all the, the magicians would know the names of, I don't want to, you know, no reason to, anyhow, here's the thing, it was way too complex. He told me simplify it, which I did. I changed it to pure sleight of hand and it worked out wonderfully. One of the things I notice marketers doing is intentionally, or unintentionally rather, mucking things up, making things way more complex than they need to. And I'm guilty of the same. I'm, I'm guilty of the exact same thing. For instance, let's say I decide, hey, you know, I want to run a little promotion. So I'll think about, okay, well, I got to create this sales funnel when really all I would need to do is just create a few emails and add to it later if I want to. Because what happens when you're working on the sales funnel? Well, it rarely gets done. Uh, or perhaps I want to um, run a sale. So rather than just shooting out a simple email to everybody, I'll think about how can I position the sale, how can I make sure no one buys it after the expiration dates, and all that stuff, when I should have just taken 10 minutes to shoot an email out. Or I'll think about setting up a new webinar registration page. I'll think about all the different ways I can do that, when really the smartest way is just to pick one way and another and split test and let the results be determined by the people who are registering. See complex. I see it kill so many businesses. Particularly now, as one of the founders of Stealth Seminar, people get all complex with all their stuff when really the smartest answer would be the simplest. Simplify and you will be far more profitable. In fact, right here, right now, you know why this boat looks so wonderful and magical? While everything's in its place, you know why everything's in its place? It's because it's glued down. It can't go anywhere. Simple, yeah, but effective, yeah.